This video will tell you what to do if your browser won't open websites, while Skype, cloud services and other Internet applications do not have any problems. I would like to note that these recommendations will be suitable for all popular web browsers – Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Yandex Browser, Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer. Before you start fixing this problem, you can try rolling back to the last saved restore point or using a system recovery image. First of all, your computer should be checked for malware and adware. Too often such programs prevent your browser from working properly. I made one of my previous videos to show how to get rid of viruses, trojans and adware. After deleting all viruses and unwanted software, go to Control Panel – Internet Options, click on LAN Settings in the tab Connections. If you have the checked box next to Use a proxy service for your LAN, uncheck it and check the box next to Automatically detect settings instead, then click OK. You can also open the proxy service settings menu from the browser. For Google Chrome, Opera and Yandex browser the steps are similar. Go to Menu – Settings Show Advanced Settings and click on Change Proxy Settings. Then follow the steps I have shown before. In Mozilla Firefox, go to Menu – Options – Advanced and in the tab Network find Connections and then Settings. Choose Use System Proxy Settings and click OK. In Internet Explorer, go to Service, Browser Properties and then follow the instructions above. In Microsoft Edge, go to Menu – Settings – View Advanced Settings and click on Open Proxy Settings. If Manual Proxy Setup is enabled, Disable it and then go to the tab Automatic Proxy Setup to activate Automatically Detect Settings. If the browser won't open websites after proc even after Proxy Setup operations, you should check the entry App Init DLLS in the Registry Editor. To do it, press Windows plus R and enter Ragedit. Go to HKey Local Machine. Software – Microsoft – Windows NT – Current version – Windows – Right-click on the entry – App Init DLLS – and click Modify. If in the value line you can see the path to any DLL file, for example, C file name DLL, it should be deleted. Before that, copy the path to that file, clear the line and click OK. Then paste this path to the file explorer, enable the option Show hidden files and delete this file as well as any other suspicious .exe files which are in the found folder. You may need to boot your computer in safe mode to delete the file. You can watch my previous videos to see how to do it. Once again, go to the Registry Editor, find the entry app init DLLS in the section HKey – Current User – Software – Microsoft – Windows NT – Current version – Windows – and repeat the steps I have described above, then restart the computer. Then you should check the file hosts. It can be found here. See? Windows – System32 – Drivers – ETS – ETC. Open it with Notepad and read the values. If the last line is followed by other lines with IP addresses, delete them, save changes in the notepad 
and restart the computer. If your browser still won't open websites, there may be a problem with the DNS server. First of all, go to Network and Sharon Center. Click on Connections, then Properties. Uh, click on IP version 4 and Properties. Select Use the following DNS server addresses and enter these values. Preferred DNS server 8888 8, 8. Alternate DNS server 8844 8, And try opening any web page with your browser. If it doesn't help, launch the command prompt as administrator and enter the following command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This command will clear the DNS cache. Then enter the command root minus f. This command will clear the root table from all gateway entries. Now you see OK message, close the command prompt and restart the computer. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and good luck!